Hello everyone, this is K. Savita from Department of English in KSR College of Arts and Science, Parvimul. Unit 2 consists of three poems. The first poem is Crow Testament, which was written by German Alex. He was an author. He was born in 1966 on the Spokane Indian Reservation in Wilpinis, Washington State. He was an American writer whose poetry and star stories and novels films about the lives of American Indians. Here some of the notable works are the absolutely true of part. Then the second poem is Smoke Signals, the third poem is Reservation of Blues and the War Dances and so on. The Crow Testament talks about the struggles of Native Americans in their own line while being exploited by the Europeans. Alexi represents these sickles in seven stanzas through the symbolic use of a crow. The poem begins with the story of Cain and Abel, who was, who was the son of Adam and Eve. The speaker here depicts a scene from Genesis where Cain kills his brother Abel in a fight. Here the speaker represents Crow as a weapon which Cain uses to murder Apple. From the beginning of the poem, Crow symbolizes the struggles of Native America. The second section talks about the exploitation caused by the whites just like the first section. In the third section, the speaker takes a different turn. Here reflects upon the topic of religion. And the fourth section makes a biblical reference. He continues to use Crow as a metaphor. Fifth section, the speaker says that the time has changed. Now, Crow has to be cautious not only of the white men, but also from its own kind. Sixth section, in sixth section, the poet visits the present day scenario. This is the longest section of the poem. Alexi represents the woes and pains of the natives in the sixth section. Final section, the poet reflects the end of times as shown in Revelations. The main, are, main themes are racism and greedy, greediness and another poem is the raven which was written by edgar allen edgar allen Poe was an american writer poet and author he was a literary critic who is best known for his poetry and short stories he was born on 19 january 19 1809 in boston father of short story in english literature he is most well known for his dark gothic style of writing he was died on october 7 1849 in baltimore the Raven is a narrative poem which was written by Rigal Aranbo, published in January 1895, often noted for musicality, stylish language and supernatural atmosphere. The poem begins with a protagonist who is mourning the loss of his beloved Leonard, reading books to distract himself from his sorrow. He hears his tapping, tapping at his tramper door. He opens the door but finds nothing there, only darkness. Suddenly, the raven enters the purchase upon the bust of Pallas Adina, emitting the only word, never born, is the response of the man's questions. The conclusion of the poem is narrator's inability to overcome his grief and forget life. The themes are grief and loss. And the next poem is Because I Could Not Stop For It, which was written by Emily Dickinson. He was, she was born on December 10, 1830 in Amherst. Her father was well known for his educational and political activities. She wrote 1,075 poems, but only seven of them published in her lifetime. Before death, she asked her sister to burn all her poems. However, she, her published all her beautiful poems. She was, she was died on May 15, 1886, because I could not stop for death. The death is personified as the gentle lover of the poem. Death they, takes her in a carriage. Another occupant in carriage is immortality. The travel is incomplete. The travel is in complete silence. The death behave as a perfect gentleman in the presence of his lady love. Here the lady love means the Emily Dickinson, who also travel in the carriage. He seems to have only good intentions. He is not hurried to take his lady love with him. The courage moves slowly and the poet mesmerizes the beauty of nature. Her, li her life seems to be very beautiful in harmony with nature. When the death strikes, everyone should submit themselves in the civility. No one can save from the inevitable thing called death. Life was disappearing like a re receding landscape. When she started to, uh, started to her journey with the death, all the positive aspects like uh, light, warmth, extra, you know, turned into darkness. In the beginning, the poetess believed that she was escorted by death and her life moved, to, moved towards mortality. But in the end, she realized that her life was moving towards grief. Thank you for watching.